Hey there, uh, good day YouTube. It's Robert J. Morris here. I'd like to thank uh, Sandra Levette for uh, for bringing up this article. Uh, she shared it earlier uh, today. Uh, it's August 18th, our year of the Lord, 2015. Yes, a uh, single DNA molecule could store information for a million years following a scientific breakthrough. Well, we'll be the judge of that, I guess. Um, what this is kind of getting into is how they can use the uh, the A, C, T, and G. Uh, uh, they're basically the nucleotides that make up DNA. Now, they can utilize that and reconfigure it, literally like a printer. Like, they can print these things out now, okay? So they can create, they can create a, a DNA strand out of these nucleotides and basically, effectively, store data. Um, I mean, they've been doing... They, they, they've been utilizing DNA, obviously, to figure out genetic relationships with other animals and uh, checking out uh, the ancestry and and what have you and it's fairly foolproof I mean you know DNA um, is remarkably stable and when you uh, preserve it through other means uh, if you basically prevent it from oxidizing it can very well last indefinitely uh, you know um, the whole premise behind Jurassic Park was uh, you know uh, DNA stored in uh, in, in resin basically now you know and that's how they brought back the dinosaurs right you know just a few uh few the dna blocks were uh you know they just fill it in with uh other dna now as far-fetched as that might seem um there's uh definitely a history here and something that people must learn is that if information can be stored in dna I just want people to think about this. So this isn't really, I'm not trying to teach anybody new, and I'm not trying to teach anything new here. Um, people have to realize that if DNA is a viable source of memory storage, or I don't know if source is the correct word, but if it's a viable method of, uh, of data storage, who's to say that it hasn't already happened? Guys, We've heard in the past where uh, biologists and, 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 you know, what have you, people in the profession have referred to things such as junk DNA. I called bullshit years ago. I called bullshit on that because I don't believe that we could have junk DNA. I don't buy it. It's a personal opinion. It just doesn't make sense. Um, it's been... It's been thoroughly documented that protein peptides throughout the body and the nervous system, which, by the way, the nervous system itself is a completely independent, um, uh, it's a dependent system within the body itself. Now, protein peptides store memories or information throughout the body, uh, such the effect that, like, let's say a martial artist or a dancer or somebody who's very physical, do you think all those actions are stored in their head? Well, no. The triggers that 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 cause those actions, like, it was what's stored in in, in the brain space. Uh, the actual actions themselves are stored throughout the body in protein peptides. So, in a sense, this is kind of where the uh, phantom limb thing comes from. If uh, somebody who is rather physical in their regular lives loses a limb, let's say their leg or uh, their arm or something they get this phantom limb uh, they, they feel like they can move their arm well that's because the arm is what the memory was stored in as to how to move the arm the brain sends out the signal to the arm just doesn't know if the arm got the signal or not so you get this phantom kind of an effect now where am I going with this um, okay guys you have to kind of take things back. They have been researching this for a long time, okay? And here's where my bullshit uh, detector goes off. And it goes back to the studies of uh, basically what is now known as HIV um, comes from uh, research done on HTLV 1 through 4. HTLV 1 through 4 
is uh, it's a lympho. Uh, uh, I can't even speak today. It's a it's a it's a lympho lymphotropic virus. Um, HCLV basically is what led to AIDS. Now, it regardless of uh, of its origins. The main thing to remember here is that what what HCLV is, it's, it's basically a, a transcriptase uh, DNA or RNA resequencer. Um, now, as far as uh, uh, reverse transcriptase is concerned, what it does is it basically takes RNA strand and then it it, it reconfigures the RNA sequence and then injects it into the DNA to basically create a new DNA cell. That's how retroviruses work because what it'll do is it'll take uh, the DNA of the virus, it'll create a new RNA sequence and then inject it into the DNA strand and then you have a new improved virus that kind of reprograms itself. Now, um, how is this important? What I'm trying to get to is that these things have been researched and researched and researched and then tested on people. This is where AIDS comes from, in my personal opinion. And I just want people to kind of, I want to open the door to people to do some research because if you check into this, I think personally that this has been done since day one um, in, in, in modern molecular like, uh, like biology. Um, they, they, they figured out that, that data can be stored in cells, uh, sorry, in DNA uh, strands. And this being said, um, is, it too, is it too weird to assume that maybe they've known this for a long time? And I think personally, and this is again my personal opinion, and it, this requires a lot of research, I think the answers to everything that has been bothering us about the lack of ancient knowledge, the dark ages, I think personally, I think this is where all of this research is headed. I think they're trying to unlock this junk DNA. I think they're trying to figure out what's written there, not to mention in the research trying to figure out how to read it. I think they've been trying to figure out how to rewrite it. Hence, all of the research into retro active viruses just a little heads up people um my research uh, has, has taken me this far i'm gonna follow up with this with some more and uh give you guys some more to chew on anyway i just thought i'd release that guys it's a little bit uh from left field for me but uh this is uh definitely very very interesting stuff to start looking into i think personally uh I think a lot of money's been spent on this, and I think this is where uh, I think this is where some of the some of our history, some of our deepest, darkest secrets to our origins is hidden. And that's my take on that. Thank you for listening, everyone. Peace. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves, man. I'm out.